In fighting games, control is everything. Controlling space, controlling time, controlling your brain into thinking your character isn't bad. But the most important control is controlling your character. And for many new players, what you control your character with. There's a lot of controllers out there. There's these, these, and these, also these. But today we're gonna to be talking about these, the hitbox, and why new players need to use it over the others. To understand why the hitbox is the best for new players, we need to first understand why the others aren't. This is the fight stick, classic joystick and buttons layout. This design is everywhere. Everyone knows about joysticks, but they're not good for beginners because it's harder for them to use up front. The joystick makes sense to everyone on paper, but most people struggle to actually do the inputs they want without mashing. Basic movements and special inputs take a long time to develop muscle memory for, as most people don't have experience with that style of wrist movement. It's an odd form of dexterity to have to build up. Console controllers, or pads as they're called in the FGC, are my personal least favorite, but the most popular overall just due to availability. The buttons are fine, people are used to the layout, and if Punk can make that many finals using a controller, it obviously isn't impossible. But in fighting games, you use the D-pad for most precise motions, and most people use the analog sticks exclusively when playing other games, which again means there's still going to be an execution floor that they have to overcome since they don't have muscle memory of doing the motions on a D-pad. Unless you already use the D-pad for regular games, then great. Bust to the asylum is this way. So, I know what you're all dying to ask. Hey, video man, why does Hitbox is good? Fucking butts, you get to press them and they make the fucking dopamine receptors in your- Hitbox has the lowest execution floor of all three, but it's the least appealing at face value. The controller itself just looks weird, but believe it or not, if you've ever used a keyboard, then you can use a Hitbox with relative ease. Now, this isn't to say there's zero execution floor. More complex inputs like half circles, full circles, or the infamous pretzel input will take some practice. The important point is that most everyone has that basic muscle memory of typing on keys, and it's the same motion for the hitbox. If you've ever typed out the word ask, then you can do a fireball motion on hitbox. If you've ever typed ASAP, then you can do a dragon punch. Am I saying that if you play on Hitbox, you'll be able to skip training and beat the pros? Yes, Hitbox, please sponsor me. Not really. Does the Hitbox make execution easier? Simply, yes, it does. But before you get all boomer and they took our combos, dang old lower and the execution is bad. Think about it this way. Would you rather have the actual inputs in game be made easier, like removing special inputs and replacing them with single buttons? Or would you rather there be an accessible way for new players to learn them quicker? Dumbing down the controller is better than dumbing down the game. In the end, controller choice is preference. I play on hitbox and stick. They're both fun. But if you're a beginner, I would strongly urge you to give the hitbox a shot or try playing on your keyboard first to see if you like the feel. It makes me so sad to see potential new players drop games because the execution barrier is too high. That's all I've got today, which brings us to today's sponsor. My full-time fucking job, please subscribe. Also, you could fucking turbo teabag on- Hey guys, as always, thank you for watching. I'm streaming consistently now, Fridays and Saturdays, with alternating Sundays at 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The Discord is absolutely popping now. If you want to come hang out with some other glue eaters and play some fighting games and have a good time, links in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.